Good morning, guys. Welcome this morning to our Seniors Fitness YouTube channel. Uh, this morning, we're going to be doing a uh, pretty much a full body workout. Uh, we're going to cover some um, a cardio warm up exercises with some good mobility. We're going to do some stretching and we're also going to do some hand weights for strength. Okay, so if you don't have hand weights, just use a couple of water bottles or some uh, tins of baked beans. Uh, anything like that will be more than sufficient. Uh, and also make sure you have a chair next to you as well to use for stability. Um, you know, you may want to hold the chair while we do some of these exercises. Uh, or at least just have it there ready in case you need to uh, to grab it. All right, so without further ado, uh, let's start with our warm up. So we're just gonna be walking on the spot, all right? Excellent, good. Let's get that, uh, that blood moving through our body. Breathing through the nose. That's all right. good. Just keeping those arms at 45 degrees. You can always hold your weights if you want to with this warm up as well. If you want to just get a little bit of extra, uh, extra uh, effort, get the heart rate up a little bit more, get a bit of strength in the arms. All right, good. It's walking on the spot. All right, excellent, good. Okay, so let's just go for 20 seconds. We're just going to go into some fast feet. Let's go. Just moving those knees. That's it, good. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, and we're just back to walking, good. Excellent, good. You can always just exaggerate that walking as well. Just get those arms a little bit, a bit more uh, exaggerated. Get those knees up a little bit higher. All right, or you can make it easier. You can just go slower if uh, if that suits you. All right, this time we're going to go into a skipping action. All right, so we'll go for 20 seconds into a skipping action. We're simulating skipping without a skipping rope. Oh, right, here we go. Let's go. All right. That's good, the old days of skipping. Let's keep those knees moving. And 10 seconds, let's go, keep it going. Five, four, Three, two, and good. We're back to walking on the spot. Excellent, good. All right, so for this next one, we just gotta make sure the chair's there. So, you know, some people uh, may not wanna raise their foot off the ground if uh, if your balance is a little bit, uh, uh, it's not the best, but otherwise you may wanna just have your hand next to the chair, okay? So we're just going to, we're just going to move our hands, our arms in and out like this. At the same time, we're just gonna raise our foot off the ground like that, okay? Like I say, if, you, if your balance is not very good, just you can even just hold the chair and do, do it like that as well, all right? Or you can just leave the, leave the feet on the ground and just keep walking, okay? But we wanna make sure you stay safe, that's it, excellent, good. It's good mobility, good, we're opening up the chest. Starting to warm up, get that blood moving, get the heart, get a nice strong heart, cardiovascular system. Good, let's go for another five seconds of these ones. Four, three, two, and we're back to walking on the spot, excellent, good. All right, and like I say, you can just make it a little bit more vigorous of a walk if you want to, as you're warming up. <sighs> if 
This time we're going to go into a isometric squat. All right, so we're just going to do little pulses, all right, to strengthen those leg muscles. But we're also going to rotate the upper body. All right, so we're going to work on our mobility here, as well as getting the heart rate up and working those leg muscles as well. All right, so we're going to go into this squat. We're just going to pulse, and we're just going to. So like I say, just little tiny pulses in the legs, and we're just rotating those arms. It's getting a nice. If you want to go down even lower, it makes it even a bit harder. You start, you really start to feel that in those thighs. It's good. Really start to. That's it. Excellent. Little pulses. That's it. Good. And five seconds, five, four, three, two, and we're back to walking on the spot. Good, you feel that one. Keep that walk nice and vigorous. Okay, no lazy walking. Make this work out your own, okay? So depending on your fitness level, your ability, you can always slow it down. You can always speed it up if you need to. You can always rewind and redo sections of the workout as well if you've got more time. And we'll probably go for about 30 minutes, I think, here. So this one, we're going to do a split stance and we're going to pump those arms. It's like we're in a sprinting race, okay? So we're in a split stance and we're going to go into a little, you know, we're going to sink into that a little bit so we're getting some good strength through those legs. And let's pump those arms, okay? Move those arms back and forward, all right? And we're just pulsing the legs as well, all right? That's it, getting good mobility as well as strength through those legs. That's it. And we're getting that heart rate up. That's it. Okay, five, four, three, two, and walking on the spot. Good. We'll do the other side. Should be starting to fill up by now. If you're not, you probably need to increase the uh, intensity a little bit. All right, so let's go the other side. We're into a uh, into that split stance, and we're just going to sink into that a little bit, okay? If possible, if that's too much, you can just just uh, just, go, just stand in a, in a in a split stance, and we're pumping those arms forward and back. That's it, like you're in a in a sprint race. Keep that going. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and walking on the spot. We've got one to go. That's it, one to go. Then we'll have a drink. All right, so this one's going to be the swings, okay? So we're gonna we're gonna put our arms up and we're going to swing up and back. Okay, good. And we're just doing a little half squat when we do these as well. Up and back, that's it, good. Ten seconds to go. Come on, push that one out and we'll have a drink. Should be five, four, three, two, and good, and relax. Good, guys. Grab a quick drink, and I'm just going to adjust my stopwatch here. And we'll do that on never. That's it. Excellent. Fantastic, good, 
Excellent. Good. We'll just do a few stretches. So what we'll do first is just use your hand on the chair. We might put our one foot behind the other. All right, and we're just going to, if you're able to put one foot behind the other, remember, use your chair for stability, and we're just going to sink forward into a into a stretch. We're just going to stretch that back hamstring. All right. And if I if I turn around, you can see it from this angle. All right. Now that's my, I've got a slight bend in my knee. I'm not locking the knee out, but it really uh, ex exacerbates that that stretch in that hamstring. Which is, excellent. Change sides. One foot behind the other. Slight bend in that back knee. And we're just going to hinge forward. Okay. Just use that chair for stability. Excellent, fantastic, good. Now let's take those legs apart. All right, so we're just going to take the legs apart into a split stance. So, you know, don't get, overdo it, but we're going to go sort of a, as far as we can without overdoing it, and we're just going to lean to one side. We feel that stretch on the inside of the, uh, the legs. really important that uh, we spend time stretching it's something that a lot of people neglect just because it gets a bit boring I think but uh, so it makes you feel so much better if you're doing regular stretching and you don't have to do long ten, you know five to ten minutes okay let's go to the other side You can always rewind the stretching part and redo it as well. Do it longer. So we're really feeling that on the inside of the thigh there. Okay, let's let's put our foot up against the back of the chair leg. All right, and we're just going to make the foot as vertical as possible and then just take those hips towards the chair and you feel that stretch through that calf muscle. That's it. Really feel that through that calf muscle. Excellent. Good. All right, let's go to the other side. Get that foot up against the back of the chair. And then just take those hips in towards the chair. Feel that really tight, just really tight down there in that calf muscle. And slightly bend the knee as well. Sort of takes it down into the Achilles tendon a little bit. Okay, fantastic, good. All right, okay, so let's just grab the back of the chair and just for our upper body, we're just going to sink down, sink our bottoms down and open up that chest and those arms, inside of the arms. You even fit a little bit in the back of the legs as well, in the bottom. Excellent, good. Okay, and we're standing up. We're just going to take our hands behind our back and interlock the fingers. Open up that chest. Excellent. 
Okay, fantastic, guys. And we're just going to loosen that up. Take those arms around. Around. Good. All right, grab yourself a drink, sip of your water, and then we'll grab our hand weights. And what we're going to do, we're going to do um, four sets of each of these exercises. We're going to, well, for the first four exercises anyway, we're going to do 20 seconds of work with 10 seconds of rest, okay? So like I say, it's up to you. If you need a longer rest, that's fine. Just, um, but so obviously make this workout your own. So most of these exercises, some of these exercises you can do sitting down if need be. Okay, so grab our hand weights. All right, so we're gonna go into a sumo stance. So our feet are gonna be a little bit wider apart. So a little bit wider than shoulder width apart and our toes are gonna be pointing 45 degrees out. All right, so our knees are going to follow our, our feet, okay, and our hands are going to be inside like this and together with our weight. We're going to stand up nice and tall, and we're going to go into a sumo squat, okay, so knees follow the feet. We come up, and then we're going to do an a upright row like that, down, up, okay, get those elbows up. All right, so we'll go, just wait 10 seconds, and we'll get the clock we're going to do 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest. And we'll do, I think, three or four sets. So get ready. Here we go. And let's go. So we squat up. Squat and up. Sumo squats with an upright row. Get those elbows. Concentrate on getting those elbows up. Okay, and relax. Good, just stay in that stance. 10 seconds of rest, and then we go back into another 20 seconds of work. Get ready. Here we go, go. Sumo squat and upright row. Elbows up. And relax, 10 seconds rest. Good, we've got two sets to go. Get ready, and away we go, let's go. You can make this squat as deep as you feel comfortable. If you've got good knees, you can go a bit deeper. If not, just, you can always just do a nice shallow squat. And relax, we've got one more set to go. Get ready, and away we go, last one. We'll have a rest after this. Five seconds. And relax that, good, excellent, good. Have a drink. Now the next exercise is uh, fairly advanced, so just be careful. If you need to modify it, that's fine. Um, we're gonna be doing a, a step back sort of lunge, but you can always just do a step back if, if, that, if, you're, if you're more comfortable with that, if your balance is a little bit off. Have the chair there available. And we'll use one weight. All right, so we're going to go into a step back and we're just gonna to twist to one side, okay? And then uh, rotate to the other side, all right? And then come forward, all right? So we're gonna go stepping back with a twist over the knee and then back to the other side and then forward, all right? So let's just wait for the clock to set. We'll do 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We've got four sets to do. Okay, get ready, five seconds. Remember, use the chair if you need to. Okay, you can always hold the chair. Here we go. So we're stepping back, rotate out over the knee, and then back to the other side. And then step up, and then go the other side, back, rotate over the knee, other side, and up. Okay, step back, 
rotate and relax that. And here we go. Step back. Step back, rotate over the knee. And up, good. And relax that, good. We've got two sets to go. We go and away we go. Stepping back, rotate over the knee, other side, good. Stepping back, rotate over the knee, other side. Rotate over the knee and back to the other side. Oh, that way and that way, good. And relax that, we've got one set to go. Excellent guys, That's last set, we'll have a drink. Here we go. Step back, rotate, rotate, good. Stepping back, rotate, rotate, good. Very good for our mobility, our core, leg strength. But stay safe. Make sure you stay safe. And relax that, guys. Good. Have a drink. Excellent, good. All right, so this one will be a squat and a press, all right? Another compound exercise is using different muscle groups, not just, uh, not just isolating one muscle. Okay, so this one is going to be, we're going to start in rack stance. So from here, nice feet of shoulder width apart, feet, toes pointing forward, knees are bent, slightly bent. We're going to, our bottom's going to go back into a squat. So we're just going to squat, come up, and then press it up. Okay, now remember, if, you, if your knees are not great, don't go do, into a deep squat. Just do a shallow squat. So it's up to you how deep you want to take that squat. All right, so it's just a squat and a press. All right, so let's let the clock reset. We've got 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Five seconds to go. Get ready. And away we go. Bum goes back, we squat and we press. Squat, bum goes back and press, good. Squat and press, excellent, good. Squat and press, excellent. And relax that, that's one. Go, here we go. Rack stance, bum goes back, squat and press. Bum goes back, squat and press. And relax that, excellent, good. I think that's three, isn't it? So we've got one to go. And here we go. Squat and press. Squat and press. Squat and press. 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 Almost there and relax. Good. Grab your drink. We've got one more of these compound exercises to do. We're going to do a deadlift with a, a um, with a row as well. Okay, so we're going to be in feet shoulder width apart, slight bend in the knees, nice posture, hands in front of the thighs. Now we're going to hinge forward from the hips. Okay, so if I'm on this angle, you can see it a little bit better. Hinging forward, sliding those hands down just past the knees. We come. Okay, and we're going to when we're down there, we're just going to do a row. And then we come back up. All right, so we 
hinge forward and we row and then we come back up all right so get ready five seconds we start all right so we're going to hinge forward from the hips and down we go row and then back up excellent down row back up five seconds and we'll have a rest and come up have a rest that's not set number one we've got three to go hands in front hinging forward row keep that head in line with the spine hinging forward row row Almost there. And that's set two. Let's relax that. We've got two to go. Here we go. And away we go. Hinging forward, deadlift, row, and back up. Deadlift, row. And relax that. Good. We've got one set to go. Here we go. And go. Last set. Keep it going, guys. Push it out. And we'll grab a drink. And last one, and that's it. Relax. Good. All right. Grab a drink, and then we'll sit down on the chair, and we'll do uh, a few of the isolated uh, uh, exercises for our arms and our core just on the chair. All right. Sitting down. All right, fantastic. Okay, so what we're going to do is just take our hands up with our weight. All right, and we're just going to do a a. Uh, we're just going to reach down to the side of the foot and come back up. All right, so we're going to reach down to the side of the foot and come back up. Down. Back up. Reaching down. Back up. Rotating, reaching down, and we're back up. Five to go. One. Two, three, four, and five. Fantastic. Just relax that one. Like I say, if you want to give yourself a longer rest, you can just pause the video and join back in. All right, good. Another one for our core here. So we're going to get a rotation and we're just going to raise the knee. We're going to grab our weights. You can do it with weights or without. All right, so we're going to rotate and then just elbow comes up towards the knee. You don't have to touch them. We're just bringing the knee off the ground, off the uh, chair and rotating our spine. Okay, so we're just using our core. All right, good for our mobility, good for our um, transverse abdominals obliques, those inner core muscles. Excellent, good. Just rotating, raising that knee off the ground. Rotate. Four to go. One, 
two, three, and four. Fantastic. Back to that, grab a drink. All right, good. Now, what we're going to do here for our bicep, I want both weights in one hand if possible. And we're just going to tuck that elbow into the inside of your knee. We're going to keep a good posture. Okay, so don't sag forward like that. We're just going to keep a good posture. So that elbow is tucked into the inside of my knee and it's resting there. And we're just going to do a bicep curl. Okay, it's just an, isolate, an, an, an isolated bicep curl, just isolating that bicep muscle, excellent, good, keep that going, Let's do six more of those on this side, and then we're going to keep the weight in this hand. We're going to do our tricep, all right? Three to go. Okay, one, two, and three. Okay, so we're keeping the weight in that hand. Just rest a little bit. We're going to do the tricep. Now, you can use one or two weights. It's up to you. If you feel like you're strong enough to use both weights in the one hand, that's fine. If not, just put one weight down and just use one weight. Okay, so what we'll do is we're just going to get that elbow back comfortably, but as far back as you can take it, all right? And the hand's just going to hang down, and we're just going to push back, push the hand or take it up. All right, so we're working the back of the arm so that the upper arm should be parallel to the ground or as close to it as possible. And just and we're just pushing. If I'm on the side, you can see it a bit better. Like that. Okay. Let's do five to go. One. Two, three, four, and five, and relax that, excellent. We'll have a quick drink and we'll do the other side. Nice deep breath, we've been going for about 33 minutes, so another couple of minutes, another three or four minutes, we'll have a couple of stretches after this as well. Awesome, okay. So let's get both those weights in one hand. Remember, we're going to plant that elbow on the inside of the knee. All right, we're going to isolate that bicep, and we're just going to do bicep curls. And that, that elbow is just resting there on the inside of that knee. Like I say, you can always re repeat any of these sections of this workout if you've got more time, if you want to turn it into an hour workout. It's a good thing to do. Five to go. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five, and relax, good. Now, like I say, for this next exercise, you can either use two or one weight. I'm gonna use one, because I'm nursing a frozen shoulder, so I don't wanna uh, overdo it. All right, so just remember, we're going to pull that elbow back as far as we can. Try not to slouch too far, keep your, keep your head in line with your spine, and we're just gonna push, push that hand back, okay? We're just working that tricep muscle. Good. 
make this work out your own. You can lift heavier weights if you want or lighter weights. You don't even have to use weights if if uh, if you're new to it and you're just uh, you're just working your way up to it. It's up to you. Anything's better than nothing. Good. Five to go. One, two, three, four, and last one, five. Excellent. Good. Just put those weights down. Okay, excellent. Good. Now, hands, feet out in front. We're just going to lean forward, hinge forward, and just stretch that body, hamstrings, leaning forward. You can sort of keep your head up if possible. Just give that body a good stretch. Fantastic, really feel that. All right, good. And we're going to put our elbows on the inside of our knees and push those knees out, stretch the uh, the groin muscle, muscles, I should say. Excellent, good, and one of my favourites, bring that foot up on top of your of your knee there, and you're just going to put a little bit of weight on that on this knee here. We're just going to lean forward. You should feel that stretch down there in the glute of this bent leg. We're just leaning forward. If that's uh, if that's okay, if you if if you find this one too difficult, you can always just leave your foot on the ground and just do it that like that modified version. So we're just leaning forward. Now, phase two of this exercise, we're just going to put this opposite hand on the knee and just turn the body around. You can put that other hand on the chair if you want. You want to change sides, foot up on top, just be careful, put a little bit of weight on that knee and we're just going to lean forward, feel that glute stretch. If you're watching this video on a computer, there should be a little subscribe button either here or here. You click on that if you want to subscribe to our channel and you can view all of uh, all of the different workouts. We have about 14 at the moment, different uh, seniors fitness workouts of all different uh, modalities. Okay, just take that outside hand on the outside of the knee, turn the body. Good, and our last stretch, just grab the back of the chair, open up that chest and just lean forward. And if you found the uh, video helpful, please uh, tick the thumbs up and like the video. Um, the more popular it is, the, uh, the more exposure it will get and the more people we can uh, get the video out to. Good, and just loosen that up. Great. Fantastic, guys. Like I say, uh, yep, thank you for joining us this morning. And uh, by all means, repeat any of these exercises or these sections of the video today. 
um, or go into our YouTube channel and, and check out uh, all the variety of all of the other workouts we've got on all different aspects of fitness. But we'll see you next week for our, our workout next week. Thanks a lot.